The Sun Yat Sen is a tier 9 Pan Asian battleship that is basically what happens when a Georgia and a Sovetsky Soyuz go on a hot, steamy Valentine's date together. Hey! Yeah? What the hell is this? She's both incredibly interesting and quite boring at the same time, so there's definitely a lot to talk about with the newest tier 9 premium to enter the game. For a start, let's talk about what she gains from each of her parents, to put it that way. She's affected what happens when you slap Georgia guns, albeit slightly different performing, on top of a Sovetsky Soyuz hull, which on paper sounds like a match made in heaven, but does it live up to expectations? Let's start with her hull, and as I mentioned before, it's practically identical to the Sovetsky Soyuz. Her 60mm deck is as thick as a sumo wrestler's waistline and is practically invulnerable to penetration from cruiser HE shells, which is amplified by her superstructure that's smaller than my future. Her absolutely colossal hit point count of 80,900 is amongst the best at her tier, albeit not as good as Sovetsky Soyuz. Her armor plating is incredibly strong too, with her 32mm bow being aided by a 220mm plate at her waterline. She also has a 230mm plate behind her bow, meaning that even if she gets overmatched or otherwise penetrated through her bow, she's unlikely to suffer citadel damage in this manner. Her main armor belt of 375mm is ridiculously thick. Damn! Damn boy, he fit. And her citadel roof of 30mm means she's immune to overmatch in this area. Speaking of her citadel though, it is quite large and above the waterline, although given her tough armor, as long as you position yourself smartly, aka not sitting flat broadside, this is unlikely to be much of a weakness. What is a weakness though, is her absolutely dog shit maneuverability. Her turning circle of 950 meters is one of the worst amongst all tier 9 battleships, and although her rudder shift is quite impressive, Sun Yat Sen still feels stiffer than my delivery in my first videos. The Yolo Amelia is a tier 9 Italian guided cluster missile, I mean destroyer. What's wrong with him? My first thought would be a lot. The pain train doesn't stop here though. Well, with a top speed of 28 knots, she doesn't really get going in the first place, only being faster than Izumo, Masashi and Minnesota, which really is not an achievement. What do you want, a fucking medal? Her concealment is also pretty poor, maxing out at 13.5 kilometers with all upgrades. All these downsides mean that whilst her hull is incredibly tanky, careful positioning and planning on the part of her captain is still required to ensure that she doesn't get caught out. She's also incredibly vulnerable to torpedoes because of this, being one of the largest ships at her tier, so watch out around destroyers. Your armor may be incredibly strong when you're bow in or angled, but don't think you're invincible in this ship. If you show your broadside or don't plan for torpedoes, that armor will mean absolutely nothing. You know what would mean something though? Subscribing to the channel, we're so close to 1k now and I've got a, a huge giveaway planned when we get there, so subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Now it's time for the fun stuff, which is her firepower, and oh boy does she have some firepower. Her 457mm guns are absolutely huge and have the capability to overmatch 30mm of plating, the plating found on most high tier cruisers. Her gun performance is like a mix between Kremlin and Georgia. Her shells perform almost identically to those found on Kremlin, albeit with less damage per shell. In all other ways, they perform similarly to Georgia. Whilst only having six guns may be frustrating if you have a bad salvo, her incredibly impressive reload of 26 seconds base, going down to 23 seconds when upgraded, ensures that you can consistently pump shells downrange. That being said, downrange isn't very far. Her range is poor, amongst the worst of any tier 9 battleship, and taking the range mod instead of the reload mod feels like a poor choice as her stock DPM is the worst at her tier. This figure may be deceptive though, as she is more likely to hit a higher number of shells than her contemporaries. This is due to Sun Yat Sen ditching the Russian battleship dispersion curve in favour of the battlecruiser dispersion curve, giving her excellent accuracy at all ranges. This combines with her excellent Sigma of 1.9 to mean she is the most accurate battleship at her tier, which certainly makes up for her low DPM and low barrel counts. Her gun handling is also very comfortable, with rapid turret rotation times and excellent firing angles. She's a very comfortable gun platform, and if you're familiar with Georgia, you'll feel right at home with the firepower on Sun Yat-sen. Just know that this firepower is the only similarity these two ships have. While Sun Yat-sen does have the same improved secondary accuracy as Georgia, she simply doesn't have the volume of secondary batteries to back this up. Her secondary DPM is poor, and she should not be built for secondaries at all. And don't let access to the defensive fire consumable fool you. Her AA is horrifically bad, and even tier 8 carriers can pick you apart if you stray away from your allies. As for the rest of her consumables, it's pretty standard. Unlike Sovetsky Soyuz, she has access to the standard damage control party, and unlike Georgia, she has access to the standard heal. Nothing unique or distinguishing here. This brings me to my feelings about this ship. She's just not very interesting. Sure, she's incredibly tanky and has excellent firepower, but in my opinion, she's just not very exciting to play. There's nothing that really makes her stand out. She's a very good battleship, don't get me wrong. She fills the role excellently, and in the hands of a good player, she's an incredibly powerful asset to have on your team, but I just don't think that she's anything to get too excited about. If you enjoy typical battleship gameplay, I think you should definitely pick her up. But if you're looking for a premium ship that's unique, 
brings something new to the table or is exciting to play, I'd, I'd look elsewhere. And if you already have a Georgia, you definitely don't need Sun Yat Sen. Speaking as someone whose favourite ship in the game is Georgia, losing the speed to gain armour is just not worth it. With all that being said, I'm going to place her at mid tier on the tier list. She's definitely a strong battleship, but she's not very exciting to play in my opinion. Despite the fact that I always seem to perform excellently in her, I just didn't have a great time during these games compared to other ships I could have been playing. If you'd like a captain build or equipment loader for this ship, go for something like this. This is taken from the amazing World of Warships Captain Guy Google Doc, which is a fantastic resource for all your shipbuilding needs. I'll put a link to it down in the description. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It's really cliche, but it really does help reach the boost of my videos and all your support is greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments what ship you'd like to see next and let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see me give away for the 1000 subscribers milestone. It's it's coming really close and um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see me give back to you guys for all the support you give me. I'm, I'm so excited. Now go out there and be a budget Georgia.